Okay, so next becomes Kalia and Adelia. These are two students who um, were scheduled for the uh, Youth Congress, and they are they went online, and I, they will give you to the webinars, and I will pass it off to them if I can figure out how to do this. Kalia, Adelia, you want to toggle your mics on, and I'll toggle mine off. Hi everyone, my name is Callie Fielding and I am a sophomore at Skagway High School in Skagway, Alaska. Hello, I'm Adelia Deach and I'm also a sophomore at Skagway High School. We are representatives from the postponed Alaska Youth Congress for the Global Elimination of Nuclear Weapons and we're here to talk about our Point Home Instagram art installation. The Point Hope Youth Congress was a week-long event supposed to take place from April 6th to April 10th, 2020. 45 students from around the world plan to participate in workshops and lectures from nuclear activists to learn about the history and effects that nuclear weapons have had on our world. The three main workshops, photography, storytelling, and social media, taught by Pascal Marcos, digital mobilization and civic organizing, taught by Colleen Moore, and social change through nonfiction filmmaking, taught by Taylor Dunn, were designed to educate and empower students in the world of nuclear disarmament. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the conference has been postponed to April of 2021. This spring, we had the opportunity to engage with students around the world through a series of webinars held by the organizers of this project. We got to hear from many guest speakers, including Dan O'Neill, author of The Firecracker Boys, who is also a nuclear historian and activist, Emmanuel Jal, a peace activist and incredible musician, Pascal Marcos, an activist and photographer, and Lily Odekirk, a theater artist with big plans in the world of nuclear disarmament. After a webinar with Lily Odekirk, she proposed a new Instagram project, which we've titled Point Home, and have been working on for the past month. Point Home is an art installation project led by international youth with the goal of using art and social media to spread awareness of nuclear disarmament. We've been exploring different themes that relate to nuclear disarmament. Our themes so far have been home, the history of nuclear weapons, and nuclear, leg nuclear legacy. If you're interested in our Point Home account, we will drop the link in the chat. So we're going to give a short tour of our Instagram account. So we'll be sharing the screen and going through a couple of our posts and what we've done so far. So this is the Point Home Instagram project. Here students from around the world have curated art, interviews, photography, and more to help bring awareness to nuclear testing and technology. The project began back in April and May, and since then we've moved through our first three topics, which are home, history, and nuclear legacy. Here is our first week, and we focused on home. Each of us created an art piece that expressed what home means to us, with um, captions, uh, stories from our homes. In the captions of each post, we wrote a memory or a journal type writing piece based off the prompt, it was a time when. As the project progressed, we began creating art and presentations to accompany the research we were doing during the second and third weeks. In our second week, we talked about the creation and history of nuclear weapons and posted infographics showing some of the information we had learned. So here are a couple of our presentations we've created over the last couple weeks. Most of these are about figures in nuclear history and we moved on to talk about figures that are often looked over in nuclear history in our second presentation there. Uh, and the third week is legacy. So through legacy, we began to talk about how nuclear testing still affects us today, um, how it's changed our world. And we hope to finish off the project with an art piece accompanying an interview with Haruki Yamaguchi from the Hiroshima Peace Culture Village. She is a third and fourth generation bomb survivor and we were lucky to get a chance to interview her. We, um, throughout the project, we want to maintain our theme of home and keep everything as personal as possible. We appreciate and encourage your support on our page, so feel free to check it out on your own. The username is in the chat right now. If you want to check it out, it is at point.home.2020.
again, we would just like to thank everyone for their constant support of the Congress, um, even through the pandemic it has made it difficult. Um, even though we've been unable to meet in person, the spirit of the students and the collaborators, collaborators is incredible. We hope to see everyone in person next year. Thank you.